Hello and welcome to another venture of Bricks in the Wild. I am Brickologist Carl coming to you from the Lego Den. Let's start off with, if you like this video or any other videos, please give that thumbs up. I certainly appreciate that. Questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I answer any and all questions or comments. If you're a subscriber, welcome back again. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscription button and you'll see any new videos I have from Bricks in the Wild. And if you think somebody else might like this video and they're not a subscriber yet, please share this video with the other LEGO members, AFLs. All right, put that away. Uh, you might notice also in the description, uh, I have changed the name to the YouTube channel. It's now LEGO Bricks in the Wild. You can still find it either Bricks in the Wild or LEGO Bricks in the Wild. I wanted to um, make it easier for people to find if they pull up the word LEGO. So LEGO Bricks in the Wild. Okay, so today our episode is going to be about if you get a Lego set, either brand new or used, and you've pieced it out, sometimes you get the bags and they don't have numbers on them. Now, I know a lot of people have got used to that is you open an instruction manual, get bag one, put those contents on the table. Uh, some people like to chat like a challenge where they like just to take all the bags throw them on the table and all the pieces and then build it that way. Whatever makes your job easier putting a set together, by all means, try it. It could be a challenge. Now the set I have in front of me, which I will, which I'm building right now and I will um, review it later on, is quite a large set. It's got a couple thousand pieces. A uh, buddy of mine found it and I will discuss that later also. But the question is, is what do you do and how do you organize it? And um, like I said, it's a couple thousand pieces. You got to have some space when you're doing larger sets. Uh, kitchen table. Uh, the table I work on is about four feet long and about two feet wide. Uh, I actually put an extra table on the side here. But you have to have space because you have to organize. You have to uh, get all your pieces together. And that brings up the next topic is there's a term for that in case you don't know. Um, and it's called knolling. Uh, K-N-O-L-L-I-N-G. Knolling. Uh, it was, the phrase was coined in 1987 by Andrew uh, Cromelow. K-R-O-M-E-L-O-W. Cromelow. And basically it is to arrange in right angles. Uh, especially works well with Lego pieces. Try to get everything organized by color, shape, size. Um, you've seen a lot of videos where, where there's been builds. I think Adam Savage did one where he did a Million Falcon and took all the pieces and laid them on a table. Now for some people that's relaxing, meditating, whatever, uh, to organize, to get your pieces in some kind of fashion, some kind of order. Um, in my opinion, that would be very difficult if you just suddenly took all the pieces and you threw them into one pile and then you tried to find the pieces for a set. It makes it very difficult. Even the way I have it right now um, takes a little time. If I had more space, I would probably get more bins and sort it out, but um, limited on space here on this table. But you've probably done knolling and you probably didn't realize it. You probably didn't know what the term was and what it was used for. But you probably did it as a kid. You probably do it as an adult today. Some people, the way they have their garage set up, uh, their man cave, um, your kitchen. Maybe how you put your stuff in the pantry or the silver drawer or whatever. So in some way, sh shape, or form, you've probably um, used knolling to organize. And like I said, a lot of people seem to do it. It... it um, makes it more enjoyable, um, like I said, relaxation, to put all the pieces out and to organize. Um, the way this, the way that my sets were done for uh, this build here is uh, the individual found the used Lego set, just the pieces and the instructions, no box, went through and organized all the pieces uh, via BrickLink to make sure uh, what was good and what was bad, what was missing. And did a little checklist on there. Um, that's something I've discussed in the past is 
when you um, are going through your bulk Lego sets and you're looking to see the pieces, uh, you start by color first, then the pieces in the color. Um, normally it's usually black, gray, white, whatever. Same thing with here is I've got some method and like a lot of these large pieces for this set here, majority of it is, I would say probably 75% of it, the pieces are white. Um, I'm going to do a review on this set whenever I get it complete. But as you can see, I've done some kind of knolling here to uh, organize those pieces. Um, just in these bins here. Uh, I haven't laid them out, but they're still organized. And it's easier when I go to the directions that, yes, these pieces are here. So it just depends on the level and depth of you want to do to knolling. Um, you can lay them all on the table if you want. You know, flats, blocks. It, it's whatever makes it easier for you. And so, but yeah, the official term is to range in right angles. And I guess the guy was in a... Um, a, um, a furniture factory and he was laying out all the um, carpentry tools in right angles so that whenever uh, they would need a chisel or a file they knew exactly where it was I'm not sure but I think that's how they do it in the surgical field too when you're on the operating table they have the scissors and scalpel and it, it also is designed so when you go back there you make sure everything is in its place you get familiar with that and also accountability um, when you're all said and done everything is in its place okay so uh this is just a real quick video but um it's on knolling and it's fascinating um once again this is uh, information that you can use uh, to help you build your sets whether they're brand new or used depending on um, you know, some people want to, you know, they spend 200 something dollars on a set. Uh, some people like to build it, you know, they do a speed build on it, get it done in, you know, four or five hours or whatever. Uh, I know the Millennium Falcon Challenge was, there was a test to get it, the time frame on that, you know, 18, 19 hours. Uh, but some people like to actually lay out all the pieces and can you imagine laying 6,000, 7,000 pieces out? It would take you a lot longer, but your build would be a lot faster. So pros and cons to that. Um, my system here, you know, my type of knolling, I've got, like I said, with the bins and stuff, uh, it's coming along. And um, I appreciate uh, the gentleman that, that I got this set from. And like I said, uh, I will do a review on it later on after the build. Leave that for a surprise. It's a, it's 2,000 something pieces. So it's a, it's a set I've been looking for. Okay. So I'm going to um, sign off on that note. Once again, any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. And once again, as you can see with this set here, I'm saving Lego from the past and saving it for the future. Until next time, thanks for watching my videos, and we'll check you out later. Thanks.